In the beginning of interactive video games, the fascination and thrill of being able to interact and control a blip of light across a digital screen was novel enough to engage the first players. The original Pac-Man advanced gaming by introducing a storyline, personable characters, faster action, more player controls, and blinking lights. Advances in this game kept true to the original design while adding a couple of new characters and brighter varied colors. The lovable character Mario and slightly more challenging user controls such as jumping at the right time made up for the severely pixelated images of the first Mario Brothers game. As the game evolved, colors became brighter, then textures and dimensions were indicated on the graphics. Mario graphics advanced over the years, and things became more challenging and complicated, but even after years of evolution, the basic premise of the game is still the same. The success of those first games gave rise to improved gaming engines and a demand for increasingly lifelike graphics. The use of a pre-rendered setting with lighting and high details, such as this rug and the architectural artifacts, using a range of values to create a sense of dimension and realism, will save poly counts for the movable action characters. Advances in technology have allowed the textures in video games to become very realistic. Once polygons were rendered in real time, the graphics became a viable challenge. Using various properties of light, space, form, and reaction can easily be defined. They can produce aesthetic or emotional responses and tension. In this scene of questionable normalcy, the light high and center directs the eye to the suspicious flying creatures in the sky. In the overall dark tension of the scene, the eye is guided by the point of light in the center where the character is focusing his attention. This brightly lit scene focuses on the emotional state of the character. Versus this darkly sinister looking scene. Lighting conditions can enhance vulnerability by obscuring vision and can be thrilling because it makes the object of terror indistinct. These indistinguishable characters in this foggy scene breeds a certain amount of tension based on our innate fear of the unknown. Again in this landscape, diffused lighting creates a feeling of uncertainty. In this aerial view, the selective foggy lighting and shadows create a realistic sense of depth. The bright dynamic lighting of the scene is confusing because at first it creates a sense of normalcy that conflicts with the dilapidated broken down bridge, not evident on first glance. The bright lighting in this scene adds to the feeling of desertion the character is probably feeling. This bright scene shows a clearly defined foreground creating a per first person feel, pointing into a diffused mist of uncertainty. Again, the clearly defined foreground creates the first person feel and the explosion draws the focus of the viewer. The viewer follows the camera movement until the bright stream of light and the explosion take over followed by the movement through the building directed by the lighting effects.
Although the character in front is not well lighted, the clear definition of his features and the diffused fire and smoke behind him bring the character forward, seeming to be directly interacting with the viewer.